Hey, it's Dr. Nussi from EasyDOTPhysicals.com. Back again with another video. This one is going to be my top four reasons why I think that saliva drug testing is such an improvement over traditional urinalysis when performing a drug test. So if you've been following my channel at all, you know that saliva drug testing is becoming more and more common, more and more accepted. In my opinion, in the very near future, saliva drug testing is going to be the industry standard. The federal government is currently in the process of allowing saliva drug testing for federally regulated employees. So you're going to see that change in the very near future. So I think this is a great change. It's a change that I've been advocating on this channel for years. So I think it is a very uh, good improvement to the drug testing system. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my top four reasons why. All right, and we'll start with the biggie, the number one reason why I think that saliva drug testing is such a major improvement over urinalysis when it comes to drug testing, and it's the reason that most people are going to be excited for drug testing if you are subject to being drug tested, is that saliva, the drug testing window for saliva is much shorter than it is for the urinalysis. So I've shown this chart many times in the past on this channel, but as you can see on this chart, when it comes to marijuana specifically, you know, the drug that most people are concerned with testing positive for, on this chart it shows that marijuana can be detected in a urinalysis for two months or more, and it could be much longer than two months uh, based on some research, but in saliva, it is a much shorter window. It's just days rather than months. So that is a big difference when it comes to the testing times. And the reason for this is pretty straightforward. And again, I've done a number of videos on this subject, so I won't go through all of it here, but THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, is fat soluble. So when you ingest THC, it can be stored in body fat and then re-released over time and then processed and then released into your urine, the metabolites into your urine, and then we can detect those later. So a urinalysis isn't really detecting the fact that you've recently used the drug or, or are potentially on the drug, marijuana specifically we're talking about here, and then could potentially be unsafe to per perform whatever duty that you are performing. It's really testing for if you've used it much further in the past, potentially, because again, you might quit using marijuana it's stored in your body fat, you're re-releasing body fat, and then you re-release THC into your bloodstream, it's metabolized, and those metabolites again come out in your urine. Whereas this process does not happen with saliva. Saliva only detects if you've just recently used, if body fat is broken down and you process it and then uh, make metabolites, those metabolites go into your urine, they don't get redeposited into your saliva. So the saliva test is going to be very straightforward and you're only going to test positive if you've just used marijuana specifically or other drugs. But with a urinalysis, and again, we're talking specifically about marijuana, if you, you can test positive right in the beginning, then you might test negative. So if you're doing a home test, a lot of people have this issue. They're testing and they test positive right after they quit using, they test positive again, and then they test negative, but then they go in to get their official test done and it's positive again. And the reason, one of the reasons for this could be because you're again re-releasing metabolites into your bloodstream. So I advocate for testing multiple times leading up to your official test, testing at home. My preferred home drug test, I will leave a link for that in the description box below. But if you continuously test from the time you stop all the way up until the day before your official test, you will know with a pretty good certainty if you're going to pass that official test. But if you stop testing right as soon as you get a negative result and then your official test maybe isn't for days or weeks later, you could then re-release uh, THC from your body fat and then those metabolites show up on that official test. All right, and number two on the list of the top four reasons why I believe that 
saliva is a better option than urine when performing a drug test is how intrusive the test is. So intrusiveness, so what do I mean by it being intrusive? So basically it's two, thing, two things. It's how convenient is it to give the sample and how uncomfortable does it make the donor giving the sample. So saliva is a much better option than a urinalysis for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it can be very difficult to provide the amount of urine required to perform a urinalysis for a drug test. It is a significant amount. Some people just have a shy bladder. I've encountered this multiple times in my offices where they just cannot, for whatever reason, stage fright, call it what you will, they didn't drink enough water before, and they just have to sit there and sit there and sit there until they can actually provide the correct amount. And if they don't provide the correct amount, then we have to go through that whole process again there are some medical conditions that can also make providing the sufficient amount of urine more difficult. And also there is the potential for observation, meaning that the person taking the collector, the person taking the sample may actually need to observe you. Now these are rare cases, but that can be very, very uncomfortable for the person uh, providing the sample if they must be observed. Saliva, it is completely different. This is a very, very simple process. All it is is a mouth swab. So the person, the collector taking the sample will just take a swab of the inside of your mouth and you are done. And the, the other bonus with that is the results can come back very, very quickly as well. So you might not have to wait and wait and wait around to and be nervous about if you are going to pass or not. We can get the results very quickly with saliva. Okay, on to number three, the on the top four reasons that I think saliva is a better option than urine when it comes to drug testing. And this one is actually about the integrity of the test, cheating on the test. And saliva is a much better option than a urinalysis because a urinalysis, in most cases, the donor, the person giving the sample, they will be given a collection cup. They will be put into a room most likely by themselves. Again, there are observed tests in certain situations, but these are more rare. So they will be put in a bathroom by themselves with the cup to collect the sample. And then they're basically free to uh, give the sample, package it up, and then give it back to the collector. And this opens the door wide open for being able to tamper with or alter the sample or switch the sample out with a, another sample, either a fake sample or a clean sample from another person. I've done a number of different videos on why this is a problem. I am glad that the federal government is finally coming around and allowing for saliva testing for exactly this reason. This is, it's crazy that we're performing these tests. We're making all of these safety sensitive employees, these employees that, that operate large machines, we're talking about pilots flying planes, truck drivers driving 18 wheelers, and we're drug testing them, but we're drug testing them with a system that can be so easily cheated on and defeated. It's, it's, it's crazy to me. Saliva obviously is completely different. You sit down, you are right in front of the collector and the collector takes the sample right from the inside of your mouth. He packages it, he or she packages it up themselves onto the lab where they do the, the testing right there on the site. There is absolutely no way to cheat. There is a full integrity on a test like this unless for some reason the collector is also in on the uh, process of cheating. But there's really no way to cheat with a saliva test. All right, and finally, the fourth reason on the top four reasons why I think saliva is better than urine when performing a drug test, and this is a very important one as well, let's talk about the economic impacts. And we'll just use truck drivers as an example. Again, I did a lot of drug testing for the FMCSA when I was a collector, and there is a shortage of drivers. And if we can use a test that just tests for the immediate use and not back months and months if a person has quit using the drug. And again, uh, I'm talking specifically about marijuana. We're eliminating a big pool of potential employees, potential drivers, because maybe they quit 
using marijuana three months ago and they're still not able to pass the FMCSA drug test because it is a urinalysis so they can't drive. So we're talking about um, doing away with or at least minimizing that shortage of drivers. So that's better for the employees, the drivers, obviously they can get jobs, they can support their families, etc. It's also better for the employers for obvious reasons as well. They don't have to incentivize drivers with these humongous bonuses. I mean, you know, this is supply and demand. This is supply and demand 101. If there are a bigger pool of drivers to select from that are applying for jobs, then you don't have to incentivize as many to come work for you. And also there is an in, the other financial incentive for employers is that saliva testing most likely is cheaper than performing a urinalysis as well. So there's also cost savings just with performing the test. And then it's finally, it's better for the end consumer, for the person buying the goods that are being transported on these trucks, because if the cost for transporting these goods goes down and we're passing those costs most likely on to the consumer, then the price of the products will go down, products will get cheaper that are, that are shipped in this manner, and so it's good for the consumer as well. So financially, it's good for the employees, it's better for the employers, and finally, it's just better for the public, the consumers as a whole. So that's it, that's my top four reasons why I believe that saliva is such a better option than urine when performing a drug test. Stay subscribed for updates, and until next time, everybody, stay safe.